Hey everybody, good morning, good night, good afternoon. However you want to look at it, whatever time it is for you. So I am Jamika Anderson. Welcome back to my channel. Um, y'all, let me tell y'all, I was thinking about a couple things early this morning on my way to get my hair done. She looks very regular schmegular, but it's it's cute. Um <laughs> And one of the things I was thinking about was, was um, relationships and, you know, where we are, like who you are as a person and how to, how to deal with relationships. Um, it was a couple of different things that I actually was discussing with myself. But one of the comments that came to me was maybe the relationships that you're trying to involve yourself in is, is not working because you're currently not living at the standard of, of life, right? The, the standard of living that you know that you have been accustomed to so because you're not within your standards um the people who you're pulling towards you who you're calling towards you are just here to to checkmate you into the position that you need to be in um or to check you i don't want to say checkmate checkmate means the game is over but the people who you're you're calling yourself into or calling towards you um it, it won't last they're here to to be teachers in your experience and so I don't know if any of you are in a place where you're just experiencing people and you're just like oh my god like this is the second person who did this to me like this person they always you know don't do this they always don't do that whatever the always is right the experience is I, I'm um I'm dealing with this girl or this boy and they just don't answer their phone when I need them to answer their phone. I can't depend on them. Um, or when we go out to eat, I'm always the one who's paying. It's never have to have or it's never them treating me. I'm always the one who's treating and, and picking up the bill. So if you know that there's that, that is something that you want, maybe they're t here to put you in a position to let you know economically you're not where you want to be economically. This relationship is not going to uh, be able to foster whatever other areas that you want to want to go through because I, I definitely think that economics or financial the financial aspect is just a physical representation of the spiritual experiences that you're having and with that belief with that thought process um a little bit you know what I'm saying uh you just there's some things that need to be moved around and so that's why things are continuously not working out for you in, in this experience or even if you if you have someone else different face different person but same experience that means that that somewhere deep down there's some rooted connection that you have to disconnect or undergo to to realize is there's some things that need to be pulled up and pulled out and exposed um just like with, with fly, I think just like with flowering or building a garden and and this is so funny because on Thursday I think it was a, a couple days ago um I was at work and I was watching one of the uh maintenance people um facilities uh persons he was gardening right he was he was <laughs> there's this this bush this bushy area that's out front front inside of my well by my door and he pulled out a whole bush so there's several bushes there he pulled out a whole bush and I was like that's still a good bush why is he pulling it out you know and I was just sitting there you know thinking that to myself and you know but not saying anything out loud because it ain't my business that ain't my job and so after he pulled it out then he went to cutting you know the trees to get ready to shape them and it was just so much debris that he was pulling and he was raking, you know, and I look at rakes almost like a claw. So, you know, pulling that stuff out, he was cutting it, he was lining it up. You know, he did all these different things. And while I was looking at him, I was like, dang, he's doing a lot of work. And the bushes look like bushes, they look okay. But because they weren't manicured, um, you know, it was just, it was kind of like just regular, like the regular everyday you. And sometimes, you know, we have to go through a process, just like those bushes and what this man did, where we have to be manicured, we have to be um, fixed for the position that we really want to be in. And so that is what I saw in, in that aspect of him cutting it up, lining up that area, um, taking all the debris out, making sure that the dirt all was, you know, some people, not everybody does this, all of the dirt was raked one particular way, you know, lining the bushes up, putting them in a nice little square. 
like sometimes in order for us to, to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish and do some of the things that we want to do, we have to go through a manicure and process. And that manicure process may look like chaos when we're going through it, may not be what we 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 expected initially. Um, however, that is the standards, that is what we, the quality of life that we really deserve and that we want in order for us to progress in, in, a, in a certain way. So sometimes you have to undergo certain aspects, certain situations, certain things, experiences, um, and certain people at this point in order for you to be pushed over to a level in which you can thrive and, and, and not just survive. But my time is winding down on my camera, y'all. I'm, I'm messed up, you know, with minutes. I guess next time I go live. But <laughs> please, at the top, subscribe to my channel. Please like, comment down below. Share this video out with somebody you think may need to hear this message. Uh, whatever it is. But please know that I will be back to y'all soon. But, of course, as always, I am Jimmy Anderson. And I love y'all. Have a good one.